making a bell curve every time, but it really does help. Especially when you're on the AP test and you're doing, um, so the AP test is like half the time you'll be doing um, multiple choice problems and half the time you'll be doing free response problems, which would be a question like this, only more complicated. Um, and in that case, anytime you're doing a story problem, I'd always draw it just because it will, it's high stakes and there's only five of them, so why not? All right, 1.06 is about, I don't know, here maybe. And this time you're shading to the right. All right, ideas, what should we do? Because the chart reads to the left. Okay, so we'll find 1.06. We're starting on the positive side. 1.0, everybody with me now? 1.06, that is 0 0.8554. Subtract that from 1. So this area right here, uh, this is this stuff. Do you see what I mean? So there's 85% to the left. So what Thomas said we need to do is we need to take 1 minus 0.8554. Um, which makes more sense. Do you see what I mean by sometimes you'll accidentally get the opposite number and you just need to be like, okay, well, obviously it's less than 50%, so I know it's not that. Make sense? Okay, can anybody, let's find out if we have a, a genius in our midst. Anybody think of another way to do this? A way that requires no subtraction, yeah? Yes, nice job, Natalie. Use the negative one instead. Um, so look up negative 1.06 instead. Everybody right now, turn your paper over, look up negative 1.06. Do you see how the answer is already 0.1446? You do whichever one makes sense to you. Either one would work. Natalie you should definitely have a prize for that. There are googly eyes over there where you could take a pair of googly eyes and put it on whatever you want. Okay, googly eyes are stupid, you're right. All right, example four. Go for it with your partner, please. By the way, the only reason Natalie's suggestion worked is because uh, this is perfectly symmetric. Are we all good on this one? You still subtracting? Yeah. This bell curve is especially sad, this one I made down here. It's not real. It's not good. This is like a, like a sad looking egg from the side going on here, spreading out in the pan. Yeah, it's not the best analogy. I didn't like it either, okay? But we're, we're, we're already there. We're already there. Let's, not, let's just move on. Okay. All right. 
so um, this time we're going to find the area between. So let's see, we've got about negative 1.5, which is like here. And then 1.25, which is a little closer, maybe right there. I'm trying to find the area between these two. Ideas. And subtract them? Yeah. That's possible. You could do, so one way, uh, what Mason is suggesting is that we look up this one to the left, figure out this one to the right, and subtract them from one. That is definitely a possibility. There's another way to do it. That would work. Okay, so let's let's think about it. I'm gonna use colors this time. Uh, I shouldn't use pink. Okay, so if I look up the 1.25 right now, it would give me this area, right? Which has what I want, but it also has this extra chunk over there. Do you guys understand that? But if I look up this one, that would be this. So if I take the green and then I subtract away the orange, I'd get my answer, which might be a little less time consuming than Mason's idea. But again, your idea would work. So, so if I take the 1.25 and I subtract the negative 1.5, now again, I can't just subtract these z-scores. I have to look these both up, okay, and then subtract the things I look up. So don't just subtract these. Um, look them up first. So right now, let's look up 1.25 on the positive side. Point 0.8944. And I'm going to subtract on the other side the negative 1.5. OK, what do you do if it's just negative 1.5? It doesn't have a hundredth place. Zero. Now, this is something that gets everybody every time. Look up, look up, look up. Do you see how 0.9 is in this column on the negative side on the left? And on the right side, zero is on the left. They switch sides because they're supposed to be symmetric to each other, like in the book. So the 0.9s are right next to each other in the middle page and so on. Um, so you actually have to go all the way on this side. People get that wrong all the time. So negative 1.50 is 0 0.0668. I got 0.8276. You guys get the same thing? Okay. All right, so basically you take the one on the 